Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So we are uh, returning from a crash site, and basically we're just waiting for some projects to get done, although we have spare money now, which is nice. Um, we don't really need anything here, do we? No, I think we're pretty okay at um, Alpha. Could change, fix up Bravo a little bit. Well, we don't really need anything there so much as equipment. We could... Do I want to get a Shrike here? Not really. I want to get there, make sure their helicopter team is fully kitted out before we uh, play around with any of that. Okay, you guys need plasma weapons, and you should have some spare... Oh, you're already building plasma weapons, aren't you? Yeah, you're getting a shotgun. Okay, so I'll let the engineers finish that. Alpha's working on some... Wolf armor? That's not right. That's not right at all. It should be buzzard armor for the other two riflemen. If I cancel... Okay. I don't think we'd actually spend any money on that, so that's fine. Just get me two of these instead. Because um, that we're going to give to the other rifles in Shrike 1, so that they have uh, a little bit of room to maneuver. And then I guess the last of our... Uh, plasma rifles? Why do I have spare plasma rifles and shotguns? I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Either way, um, that stuff should go to Shrike 1. And if not, it should go to Bravo. Did I build it? F hmm, I can't remember. Uh, Xenonauts operators in an extraterrestrial base in Australasia. Okay, well that needs to be dealt with. Uh, that sounds like a job for Shrike 1. Except everybody in Shrike 1 is horribly injured. Okay. Right. That would explain why we have all this spare equipment sitting around. Well. You're hiring wounded. Oh no, we've just got a bunch of unassigned people for some reason. Interesting. Well, Lingren's wounded. He's not going to be there for a while. Um, the new hire is not going to be there for a while. So we're going to grab someone from uh, the helicopter. And throw them in. But you guys... You, and you lost all your equipment as well. Ugh, shoot, alright, we're gonna have to go through and fix everyone's equipment. Oh, everybody's injured. Okay, uh, I guess we're just... Mmm, I really don't want to grab a bunch of privates and throw them into this. I don't know how long the base is gonna be there for, though. We just discovered it. Actually, the base isn't going anywhere, right? Yeah, because... I mean, they're not going to move the base. I assume the longer we leave it there, the worse it's going to get. And then we want to deal with it, you know, sooner rather than later. But if I... Put this off for a little bit. I mean, how fast do people heal? It's the important question. Um, Perez will be at full health if we wait a little bit. The unassigned people should be a little bit more passable. Yeah, and then we'll have six experienced people and two privates instead of three experienced people and five... No. Yeah, three experienced and five privates. Although, can we bring the scimitar to a base assault? I vaguely remember doing a base assault once before, and... It's like inside of building. Hmm. Uh, I guess we may as well bring in Simtar just because we don't have the equipment to kit out a full 10-man team for the base assault. Yeah. I guess, you know, a couple privates with the new Storm Shields would actually be reasonable, you know, reasonably survivable. They just wouldn't have a whole lot of firepower going for them. Which is fine. Just, you know, fill them up with grenades and things. Yeah, right, that could work. Um, let me see what I can do equipment-wise. Um, but I am going to leave the base for a day at least, just so that everybody can heal up. Okay, it's been about a day. How are we doing health-wise? Prez is okay, you're okay. You guys fine. Oof, that's still not ideal, but we should probably deal with this sooner rather than later. And the team is at least 
reasonably equipped. I wish we had scatter plasma, but we just don't at the moment. Um, and unfortunately, our uh, I decided not to go with the shields for the for our uh, other the new guys that are joining us because um, I figured it was better for them to have a little bit better fire. That's a laser shotgun. That's not what you should be carrying. Yeah, get rid of that. Thanks. Um, I figured it'd be better for them to have a little bit extra uh, firepower. And then they can just kind of hang back and, you know, be support, be medics, that kind of thing, rather than uh, having them go in with basically no weapons. Now, let's make sure everybody's kind of in the right place here. Plasma rifle, laser rifle. Uh, I guess that'll have to do. All right, let's send our dropship out there and see how badly this goes. Oh, advanced and wrong class analysis. The surliness of engineering is not my fault. They need thicker skin if they're going to be in this business. But in the interest of good relations, I've asked them to provide their expertise in analyzing androns, and they provided a useful insight. As a general rule, the more dangerous an andron is, the larger and bulkier it becomes, with the elite classes the apex of power and physical size. We've identified several more classes of androns for you to peruse. Um, warrior. I hesitate to call any model of mass-produced robot a veteran, but this best fits the specification. The light blue warrior class is better armored and equipped than the frontline soldier class, and more importantly, it has superior logic and tactical analysis systems. Uh, elite. The GT model of androns with all the optional extras. The massive elite class sports a fancy red paint job while retaining the same basic form of the warrior. Under the carapace of a, a fascinating... Yeah. Under the carapace, a fascinating combination of sophisticated recoil dampers, gravitonic stabilizers, and a powerful load-bearing frame turns the Elite into a bipedal micro-tank, capable of moving and shooting heavy weapons without a significant drop in accuracy or speed. Officer, this majestic purple monster possesses the same power as the Elite, but it packs it into a sleeker frame. Officers are the most dangerous Andron you will face, and that's saying something as they combine the raw power of Elites with a deep tactical intelligence. Alright, so we have run into all of these guys now, I think. So that's good information. Whoosh. Oh, Har Haridan. Okay, these are the flying guys. Ooh, look like little gremlins. They've got helmets as well. A Haridan stands roughly 170 centimeters tall. They are mysterious foes, head and chest encased with an armored shell, and the rest of their body covered by a jumpsuit. They are delicate and slender in nature, or in stature, with unusually long limbs. Armed with long-range weapons and a jetpack integrated into their armor, they almost certainly serve as the alien marksmen. The armor of this creature formed as much of the autopsy as the body itself, as we found much to suggest that it was not designed to be removed. There's evidence of an advanced rebreather system in the helmet that, coupled with the jumpsuit, would allow the creature to operate in any environment up to a hard vacuum. A blood filtration unit in the chest actually forms part of the Haridan's circulatory system, pumping the blood around the body whilst filtering out excreta and other waste products. The helmet includes powerful cameras capable of viewing almost the entire electromagnetic spectrum, giving the alien long sight ranges and excellent situational awareness. The jump pack integrated into the rear of the armor is effectively a miniaturized version of the same thrusters used on the UFO. The control system is a neural network, i.e. plugged directly into the creature's brain. This almost certainly allows them to operate their thrusters and probably to receive sensor information subconsciously. I believe these creatures are actually the alien engineer cast. They are completely unaffected by a vacuum and can maneuver around in space using their thrusters, allowing them to work on the exterior of a spaceborne UFO just as easily as the interior. The alien beneath the armor bears some resemblance to a season, possessing the same pallid gray skin oversized black eyes, and a frail bone structure. A common ancestor is likely, but they have diverged significantly since, clearest in the lengthened forearms, drooping ears, and bony spurs on either side of the creature's mouth. However, the largest difference is cerebral. The season has an oversized brain with enhanced cognitive development structures, i.e. social hierarchies, memory recall, complex thought. The Haridan instead has enhanced structure in more basic areas, motor control, spatial awareness, visual analysis. It is an idiot savant, specialized into flight control and tool usage. Unfortunately for us, a sniper rifle is ultimately just another type of tool. There you go. So probably a good thing not to let those guys live for too long. They sound dangerous. Now we should hit the alien base before any more things pop up. All right. Oh, boy. Alien base briefing. There are two ways to win an alien base mission. The first is straightforward, elimination of all enemy units, which results in the recovery of all alien artifacts and materials within the base. The second method of destroying the facility is easier, but will not result in the recovery of any items at all, destroying the base power core housed in a side room of the base. If destroyed, the mission will always end in a Xenonaut Vishkari, even if you abort the mission or your soldiers are all killed. Alien bases contain a multitude of teleporters, hidden passages, and locked doors that can be used or destroyed to provide additional routes and methods of flanking your enemies. Your men are also capable of using the base sensor system against the aliens. If you clear the aliens from the base command room, the entire map will be revealed. Okay. Uh, alien leader present. 
These communication signals are back, Commander. I suspect there's an alien leader in the area, exactly the type of creature we need to interrogate. Please do your best to capture it so we can continue with our research. I would imagine it will be recognizable from its headgear in the same manner as the officer. All right, I will keep that in mind. Now we get to deploy things. We do get to bring our tank with us, which is nice. So, what have we got here? I see one door out of this room. Oh, two doors out of this room. Hmm. Okay. Well, for now, let's keep the tank. Where am I going to keep the tank? I guess we'll put the tank here. He can go through that door. And we'll split the teams up into two. Machine guns watching. Oh, look, I can even get them to face the right way at the start. That's fantastic. Machine gun watching the door. There we go. And then we will put our shotguns. Get ready to open that door. Rifle. Oh, no, you're a shotgun. All right, you should be here. Um, we want the rifles a bit further back, the, the laser rifles at least. I'm not going to blow these doors up just yet, which is why I'm putting my guys nearer to them than I would otherwise do if I was planning to explode them with the scimitar. And then everybody else just kind of generally behind. All right, that seems like a fine deployment to me. Okay, we can't see back there, but I doubt the game is mean enough to have an enemy in our deployment zone. Oh, that's a long hallway. All right. Um, this represents an interesting problem. Do I send the scimitar down these hallways? The hallways are just wide enough for it to fit through, which means I could send it down there. But... It won't be able to retreat if I have infantry following it, and if it gets destroyed, it might block a hallway, which would be bad. Hmm. Questions, indeed. Alright, let's down the other. Okay, that's a much shorter hallway. Um, these look kind of like side doors, but they don't actually seem to be. I think they're just decorations. Well, nothing to it. I guess we're, uh... Marching down this hallway. I really wish we could force the doors open so that our uh, machine gunner could keep covering people as they moved up. But, uh, no such way. Okay, that's a little alcove, but it doesn't look like a doorway. Fortunately, that means there's cover there. So let's there we go. Another little alcove down there. Um, I guess we'll just try and keep everyone hopping from point of cover to point of cover here. I feel like that's our best bet. guys up here as well. There we go. Just keep an eye on that. Alright, you guys do not have any alcove. You are also dealing with a much shorter hallway. Just put you across here. Put you... I guess we'll try and get... Is there... Yeah, there's no cover up by this door. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to put up with that, unfortunately. So, just move you close and hopefully you can reaction shot something. If anything uh, dangerous opens the door. And then everybody else up. Um, I guess the tank will sit here for now. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Oh no. Oh. Okay, well, uh, that's two aliens down at least. And stuff's on fire, but that's not really a problem for anyone. Uh, Gunnar is almost dead, though. So that's not great. Fortunately, he does have a med kit. Oof. I really gotta... Alright, so there are enemies around here with grenades, and I need to be very careful of that. Okay. Um, Perez, you're going to... I should've just had... Ah, whatever. I should've had um, Renata open the door. But Perez is just gonna stay like, back at this end of the hallway. Um, let's have, uh, Ren go first, since he's not almost dead. Hello. Oh, oh, that's a sniper. That's a sniper who we cannot hit with anything. Unless... Uh, I don't know if he's gonna get a reaction shot, but let's... I'm stuck in this room here. Okay, there's a door here. Now, if I bring you... Uh, here, go, and bring, okay, just scoot you down here, I need to get line of sight on that sniper again, oh, he's a little bit further down, isn't he, there he is, okay, good, so 
please don't miss. Yeah. Thank you, Scimitar 2. Now, as for the other team, time for the fun part where we open this door and... What the hell? Odd color palette shift. All right, well, get... Hello. Okay, well, there's not another one, which is good. Um, I'm not liking this close quarters area that we're going to be running into Reapers in, though. Okay, just, you know, keep your eyes on things. Um, the rest of the team up, I guess. Try and keep everybody a little bit spaced out. Oh, boy. Okay, so with that guy dead... Where am I going to put Gunnar for the moment? I have Renata... Nope, can't do that. Um... Gunnar actually also can't reaction fire, so he's going to stay back. And Renata... Just going to scoot up here. Okay, so far so good. Wow, that was a surprisingly short alien turn. Okay, I don't want uh, Ren to open this door by himself. So, Renata, you're going to come up here and hang out with him. go. Um, Gunnar. I don't like that there's, like, a door here. At least that looks like a door. Just carefully scoot our way up this, uh, hallway here. Perez, same idea. How far can we move you and still have you be able to shoot? I guess it doesn't matter, because she, like, the reaction shots with the heavy weapons almost never happen. Um, we'll just kind of keep her here, so she has vision down either hallway. Uh, and the tank cannot open doors. Or drive through them. Which is... Someone should, I guess, have the tank with them. Yeah, Perez, if you can just go open the door for me, I guess. There you go. The tank should go with someone, and it's not going to fit in this room here, so may as well come down this hallway. Just park on this. There you go. Chill out there for now. Now, the other team... I don't know if there's any more Reapers in this room. And where there's cover. I don't like these doors. I don't like these eggs. I don't like anything that's going on in here. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, that's probably where you should stop. And you are going to... This doesn't have a door either. Jeez. Oh, I do not like any any of what's going on here. Um, yeah, I need everybody else in here to give me more vision of this area. Yeah, that'll have to do. Where's my uh, laser rifle? Get your butt in here, Marcus. Actually, a little bit further back, just for peace of mind. You guys have a wall between you, so you should be okay, grenades-wise. And Ren, you're going to get ready to just kick that door in in a second. Hopefully, yeah, Perez should be able to cover you. Actually, I could just have the scimitar fire down there if we really need it. Anywho. Okay. There are people opening doors, but the alien turn has gotten very short all of a sudden. Hi. God, I love the plasma shotgun. It's definitely the right thing to invest in off the uh, as my first. Hello. Uh, that's an issue. Um, I am concerned that if I shoot him, he's gonna get a reaction shot. And I need the plasma shotgun to be doing that. Okay, good. That didn't provoke. That did, and he missed, which is just fantastic. Okay, let me just make sure I can... I have just enough to use to shoot him. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Well, um... That was good. That all kind of worked out in the end. Uh, Gunnar... Gunnar here. Is this actually a door? No, it's another little alcove. So... I might just leave Gunnar here to watch this hallway with the tank while everybody else goes this way. 
Um, because that will keep him out of danger-ish. Oh, you guys are all standing super close together. Let's not do that. There you go. Sit up there. Okay, so we're seeing into the same rooms here. And we'll have the scimitar just park, uh, here, I guess, for now. Actually, there. Yeah, a little bit behind him. Okay, now, other team. Um, so I guess these guys are going to clear out this room, so we can ignore it for now with these guys. And you're going to scoot up, check out this. Okay, so far so good. Burden, same deal. Uh, I guess there's not a lot of cover here. We're just going to keep moving up kind of slowly, try and hold our TUs for reaction fire. There we go. Allison can get a little bit further down the hallway. Um, and you guys are going to be sticking back a little bit. There we go. Okay, and that should cover us for now. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not getting reaction shot. Damn it. Perez! Oh, man. I'm really sad about that. All right, well, um, there's a Reaper somewhere here who needs to be dealt with. And also, this thing needs to... Hello. Okay, there you are. Um, hmm. How do I do this effectively because if I shoot that that's going to spawn a reaper and then I've got one more shot which I can use to take out one of the reapers but how do I deal with actually can I just grenade both of them will a grenade kill a reaper probably please don't miss oh perfect oh right it goes off at the end of my turn oh that doesn't help me Shoot, I don't know if they're going to die from that. Um, well, I guess our best bet is to back off and let them come to us. Yeah, let's just go out here. I'm, I'm very sad about that. Yeah, everybody just... Oh, I can't even get Renata, like, out to safety, really. Um, awkward. Very awkward. I guess just chill out there and hope for now. Yep. Yep, I, I made my decision there, and it's probably just got Renata killed. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm just... That blind corner. I knew. I knew. It was bad. Uh, I should have kept Renata... Or not Renata. I kept um, Perez back further. She doesn't get reaction shots. She's using a machine gun. Okay. What we got in here? Anybody? Another door. No enemies so far. You can move a little bit further. We got a lot of paths to cover here, though. I don't like these blind corners. Let's get Schmidt up here. Cover down that hallway there. Um, Allison can fortunately move further, and hello. Okay, that's everybody that was in this little space here, which is nice. Duck back into cover. Keep going up Burden. There we go. Alright, you can just cover that hallway there with, uh, Marcus falling behind. All right, and Gunnar is still watching this hallway for us. Fantastic. Well, here goes probably everything. That did not kill them. Well, shoot. Oh my god, this base is full of reapers. Well, this is turning problematic. Um, yeah... How much damage do they do to tanks? Well, I get two shots at this. Right? Oh, or they're just standing right there. Ah! 
If I fire, I cannot then move afterwards, can I? Okay, so Ren needs 20 to use for a snapshot, which means he's got 28. Yeah, 28 that he can spend moving and still be able to shoot, which I think will get him enough to take both those out without too much trouble. Huh? That's the same two aliens that I already saw. I don't need to know they're there. Thank you. Actually, can Ren kill this guy from... Nope. Nope, you were blocking the path. All right, yeah. I have to scoot you out of the way, and Ren's going to have to sort this out himself. Okay. Point blank range, please. Thank you. And then... Point blank range. Okay. Jesus. All right, well, this team is now severely weakened. Um, they have Ren left at full health. Uh, Gunnar is really badly injured. Perez still shows up. Oh, no, I can still select her, but I'm looking at Schmidt's thing. All right. Well, hope the other team at least is doing okay. Just keep on scooting forward here. Okay, that looks fine. Scoot up to here. There you go. And Allison, you're going this way. Get around this corner here. Uh, this seems like a dead-end room to me, but for the sake of my sanity, Allison's gonna hang out watching this door while Schmidt sets himself up, and the other two sweep the rest of the room. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, hello. Ow. I did not- oh, right, I used all of my TUs, and Ren is bleeding. Ren is bleeding. That's yes, thank you. I know. Ren should. Ren has a med kit. Okay, good. Ren can also shoot this guy from here. Ren's gun is out of ammo. On the upside, Ren is just very good at his job. It costs 12. Okay, that should be enough to at least stop the bleeding, but he doesn't have a gun in hand right now, which is a concern. Not that it, I guess, would really help him because he doesn't have enough to use to do anything. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave you guys here watching this door for the moment while everybody else finishes checking out this. Yeah, this is all clear. Okay, good. All right, let's get everybody in position to kick this door in. There we go. Okay, people still opening doors around the place. Get you guys ready. Um, what am I going to do with you guys? I don't know that it's wise to have Ren continue pushing in deeper um, in his weakened state with no real support. Uh, so I might just find him a nice choke point to chill out in and cover. Um, best bet, I suppose, is to have Scimitar to block off this so nobody can get in behind Gunnar. And Ren can go up this way. Okay, I'll move Ren next turn when he has full TUs, because I really want him to hold on to his reaction shots. And wait until you guys have full TUs. Alright. Okay, empty hallway. That's fine. Empty short hallway. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems like a good place to hang out for the moment. Oh, there's a door at the other end. Get you. Mm, where can Burden go and still be able to shoot? Nowhere, really. All right, well, this will have to do. And you guys are waiting back here. Okay, fantastic. And Ren. Where's Ren? Ren, you're going up here. There, that'll have to do for now. Um, yeah, so I'll just have Ren chill out, like, here, just to watch this hallway. All right. Good, good. Okay. Keep you guys moving on here. Okay, another long hallway that we're going to have to deal with. 
But for now, just keep your eyes on this door. Um, Burden. Yeah, Burden can watch down here for us. There you go. And you two are running up this way. There we go. There we go. Okie dokie. Bunch of civilians. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, we got a bunch of civilians around the place. All right, that's unfortunate. Um, now there is a civilian hanging out over here, Ren. If you don't mind going hunting, this is dangerous. Who am I? Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Just get nice and. Close. Okay. All right. Hopefully nobody else shows up because Ren is very, very exposed right now. Um, now I need to sort these guys out. They did use a lot of their TUs there, which does leave me the opening to pull some shenanigans like this. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Um, I get one aimed shot here. All right, well. Shoot, okay. Uh, all right, that was very unfortunate. Bring somebody else up to put some extra firepower into this. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, how many to use does it cost you to throw grenades at things? Be my next question. Um, probably a lot. Ah, shoot. Okay. Hang on. How many to use is that? 48. 58, 54, 41, 48. Let's see if this works. Well, perfect throw. Alright, good. That should hopefully keep Allison alive. Um, Ren is also amazingly still alive. Oh wait, no, I haven't ended the turn yet. Ha. <coughs> wow. Of all the people you could have shot, and that accurately, I'm kind of... I mean, Burton wasn't the best soldier that we had, but I'm, I'm still a little bit sad about that. Either way, let's finish this dude off real quick. There we go. Now, we have the other side room to check, so I'm going to leave the these two, the lightly armored guys, here to cover this hallway. There you, go. you guys can just set up. Actually, my man Burden here, carrying a plasma rifle that he doesn't need anymore. There you go. Good, good. All right, that should help you out a little bit. Um, what else have I got? Ren, you need to move. How many other doors are there in this room, actually? Can we just check the rest of this room? So you may as well I'm run into something horrible, aren't I? There are... There's actually only that one door in this room. Huh, interesting. All right. Well, that's good to know. People are still opening doors. God, how many aliens are there in this place? All right, either way, Allison, you're going to go. This looks like a reactor room to me. That thing that we can blow up and just win the mission, even if everybody else dies. So that would be my guess. It's kind of hard to tell. There's another door at the other end of this, which is concerning. Just leave you guys there for now while uh, Allison checks this out and sees if it is actually a dead end. Uh, and Ren, you just need to go make sure there's nothing sketchy down here. That's all fine. Okay, good. You're going to go hang out here. Okay, so if Ren is able to watch this, actually, there's only one door out of this room. I could. Mm, they're both injured, though. I was going to say I could have Gunnar and Ren go through this door. Can the scimitar drive in here? 
No, I'd have to blow up those, and I want to avoid blowing stuff up as much as possible while I'm in here. Okay. Well, we can leave Scimitar 2 to watch this hallway, and Ren and Gunnar can sort this one out. Just have you back up slightly. Thank you. Oh, they're so low health. Oh, I hate it. All right. Well, I got another door to check over here. Just make sure this doesn't lead anywhere super dangerous. Okay, door didn't open. Door leads to... Hallway with civilian, who is sort of looking at me. And there's another door at the end. Hmm. And there's this, like, spot down here. Alright, we're gonna do this. And do this. And just kind of hang out here for a minute. Um, because... I would like there to be someone else to support me if I'm doing something stupid here. Let's bring Marcus in. Now, the other team already did... No, I didn't. Okay. You guys are going to go do something stupid as well. Let's get ready to open this door. Oh, this is such a bad idea. This door's going to open. They're both going to die. And I'll scoot uh, some tar 2 forward a little bit here. There you go. Okay, so far so good. Alright, what is... Oh, I should have uh, Gunnar open the door. Oh, teleporter room. Uh, okay. Those do look like teleporters, but I don't want to touch them because I don't know where they go. Well, on the upside, that answers our questions about this hallway. Let's just get you guys down like so. Yep, that leaves enough to use to still shoot. Uh, people might come through those, actually. Ren, why don't you just keep an eye on them for me? Um, now what am I going to do about this? Well, our best bet is probably to have Marcus take a shot at the civilian. So let's get ready to open the door again. See if we can't put him down with plasma fire. Okay, open door. Um, Marcus cannot see. There we go. Aimed shot from here. Oh no. Okay, he missed. He missed again. Fantastic. Duck back into cover. Alright, well now that he's used both of his reaction shots, let's do the stupid thing again. And run right up to him. And then duck into cover real quick. Okay, that worked out. I really don't like how spread out my team is getting now. All right. Well, um, nobody opened that door last turn, so you can just stand next to it. We can have Marcus come up here to support you. So that's as good as we're going to get for now. Okay, nobody came through the teleporters, which is good. We can now uh, actually move Scimitar 2 down a little bit as well. Now that we know we don't really need to worry about this section back here. And we're going to... You know, since we have the tank here and we have two injured people, I might actually just blow this door open. Please don't miss. Okay, there we go. Just scoot you forward a little bit for better uh, line of sight. Alright, that should do. I'm really hoping there's just not all that much left in here. Okay, this is another little alcove, no door or anything. Just have Ren keep moving forward. Actually, make sure Gunnar can follow him. Keep him on opposite sides of the hallway here. Uh, yeah, I think that's far enough. Ah, I spread you guys out a little bit further. Okay. You're fine where you are for now. We gotta check this place out. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's the thing we're going to have to sort out, uh, somehow. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's the problem. Uh, let's get out of here for the moment. There we go. Just, uh, we'll, 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 we'll deal with that later. Assuming they don't follow us. I don't hear them opening any doors, so I think we're okay. Um, I'm going to... Well, we're going to shuffle these teams around. So we'll leave Marcus here for a second. Uh, Marcus and Allison are going to go check the other... This hallway down here. And I'm going to have Schmidt come and watch this way. Actually, you know what, Schmidt? Just set up right here. Because that's not a line of sight blocker, I don't think. Yeah, okay. You can still see the door. And that'll give you some extra cover. Well, you might end up blowing that up, which would be unfortunate. Okay. Oh, you need to reload your gun. Your gun's not even loaded. That would have been awkward. Hi. Oh, you have a big gun. Um. Hmm. If I do this and miss... Okay. Oh, I should probably stop taking all these risks. Scoot you down here. This is all safe fish. Okay, and you still have enough to use to reaction shot. And I'm going to bring Scimitar 2 up as well. There we go. Alright, that should do for now. Okay, you guys just got to check out this room now. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing down here. And that is far enough for you to move. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, just wait until he's finished doing a little loop of the room there. I guess you can set up in this corner. Okay, so this whole room is clear. Um, and I can actually keep driving the tank through here. Hopefully running over this stuff isn't important. There we go. Alright, what are the rest of you doing? You're fine where you are. Although, if you end up having to shoot anything... Oh, yeah, alright, that's going to completely block your line of sight. Well, they don't actually seem to be coming closer. So you should be fine setting yourself up here instead. There you go. Because we'd hear them open the door at the other end if they were coming this way. And they'd have to use a bunch of TUs. Alright. So now we just got to keep... Actually, let's see how far uh, our good friend Marcus can get here. Not very is the answer. Across the other side of the hallway. Try and keep them spread out. Oh, right. Reload your gun. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. God, this is stressful. I think... I'm not hearing any doors opening or movement. I think those might be the last two aliens alive in that other room. Um, which, if true, we're just going to end up sweeping this whole base with the other team first and then try and kick the door with everybody. Okay, Gunnar, that's enough movement for you. Um, the tank can fit through either... Oh, no. Oh, because Gunnar's in the way. Eh. That's fine. Um, I want the tank to go here, because that way we run over less stuff on the way through. So I might actually just have Gunnar... Uh... This room is clear. All right. Gunnar, you can just come across this way. Save me some time there. Yeah, there we go. Rumble, 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 rumble. Uh, ah, we're not going to get through it up. I'm breaking a bunch of stuff. That's fine. Okay, you're fine where you are. You guys are going to move up as far as you can. Which I guess is... Yeah, just go to here. Yeah, that should be plenty. And then, uh... Allison can come check these. Hello, fly guy. Just kind of flying up in that room there. Okay, well, what's down here? A door. Perfect. Alright, back up a couple steps and just watch that door for me. We're going to have to work out how to deal with Flyboy there. Anything else going on? Doesn't seem like. Oh, this room also has a bunch of teleporters. Hmm. I wonder if the teleporters go over here. Interesting. I still don't trust the teleporters. I'm worried they're going to dump me somewhere really dangerous, so I'm not going to bother playing around with them. Now, there's a flying dude in there that we need to shoot. Okay, we can see him from here. We have enough for an aimed shot. I don't think he can shoot while flying. 
which is fine because Marcus just can't shoot straight up. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies in here, aren't there? Or not. He is out of my effective range, though. Um, well, if I move up here, he's still out of my effective range. Screw it. I hit him twice. Alright, well, I guess now we get to learn if he can shoot while flying. Important question of the day. Uh, you guys are going up here. Try and bring the tank up and destroy as little stuff as possible on the way. Has he actually seen any damage yet? No, it hasn't. There we go. And he's got line of sight through there. Perfect. Uh... Okay. A little bit rude, um, but surprisingly ineffective. I was very worried that he was gonna, like, do damage there. There we go. Okay, so that's this room clear. Um, there's another room across this way, which we also need to worry about. Oh boy. Okay. Get you guys ready to open this door up. I probably should have just blown it up with a tank, but whatever, it's fine. Tank is going to have to run over some of these as well. Actually, give some space to retreat just in case I don't like what's on the other side. What's on the other side is... Okay, this looks like a control room. This screams control room to me. And there's no aliens in it. Um, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with that. Okay, just find some find some cover, I guess, for now. Watch over there. Watch, uh... Is there another door? No, there's not. Okay. I'll just get close-ish. There. Keep an eye on that door. And we can bring the tank up here now. Okay. Oh, I broke their door. Oops. I keep doing that. Okay, you're fine where you are. You're fine. Um, we do need to check this room, but I suspect... These are all going to link up to each other now. At least that would be my guess. Either way, uh, Marcus can just chill out here. Just try and keep an eye on things. There we go. Get ready to open this door. Mm, we're going to have to... Uh, Allison's going to have to do this alone. Because Marcus needs to watch this hallway just in case. Okie dokie. No further alien activity. Okay, so far so good. Mm, yeah, go this way. I'm just trying, and... try and keep enough to uh, make an aimed shot here. This is a big room. See, this is a control room to me, but I don't have a vision of anything yet. Uh, the tank can watch this door for us, so you guys can actually go over here. You're fine where you are, Marcus. You can actually just get a little bit better vision down the hallway there. Is there... I'm assuming there's a door somewhere in this wall here. Probably right there where I can't see. Otherwise, this is like there's like a weird dead-end room off this. If I actually just have Marcus like staring at a dead-end hallway, I'm going to be kind of sad. But we'll find out later. Okay. Keep on scooting. There we go. All good. Get up here. All good. And we already know this is all clear. Okay, so we got one last little area to check over here. Okay, this whole area is safe. Which is good. Now we know. Get you guys back over here. Go through that door over there. Allison can double back this way. Check out the rest of this hallway. Oh, jeez. My heart. My poor heart. So many dead people. I think we got this, though. I think it's under control. Get out here. There you go. Just gonna, we're just gonna have to work out how to deal with those two guys in the last room. I guess we could probably drive the tank over there and just shoot them with that. It'd be the safest option if we can work it out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit the tank through all the corridors though. Okay, and time to crack these.
these doors. Yeah, this just goes out into the hallway. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is all right. These are just little alcoves down here. Yeah. Okay, good. So we've cleared everything else. Interestingly. Oh, you know what? I bet. Is that a thing I can... Oh, no. that's. I thought that was a thing I could stand on. But that's actually just a item. All right. Uh, I do have control. I guess this isn't the control room, so the control room must be this over here. Okay, well, either way, let's, uh, get everybody in position and see if I can't bring the tank through. Okay, well, amazingly, I was able to actually get the tank all the way over here, although I did destroy a bunch of stuff on the way. Um, let's just make sure it has full TUs, and then we are going to... Oh boy, this is gonna be messy. All right, just have somebody get you guys in this little side alcove here. I'm just going to have the tank blow the door open, and we're just going to start firing plasma in there. So make sure everybody is safe-ish. Make sure there's enough room for them to run out as well. All right, let's explode a door. Nope, don't need to do anything. Not seem to be anybody inside there. Hi. Okay, well, that's concerning. Uh, new plan. We're gonna go back here. And we're gonna do the stupid thing. Where'd the other guy go? Whatever, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Really? Really? Okay, well, this is... You know, that was probably the alien leader that I was supposed to take alive. Ooh, whoops. Okay, well, looks like we've got one last dude to kill over here. He's running. That's fine. We've got two plasma shotguns here. Hi. Okay, he's over there. Just try and stick to cover here. See if I can't get close enough to... Yeah, this is... Okay, this is definitely a control room. I know I've said that like four times, but... This is actually clearly a control room. Okay, bring you up here. See if you can't get a nice shot off. Okay, that's fine. He's allowed to shoot back. Temporarily, at least. Mission complete, please. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Oh, my God. Perez is dead. Burden's dead. Uh, Renata's dead. Three people wounded. Hey, Marcus is a corporal, though. And we didn't get the guy alive. Bad casualties. Rude. Well, uh, that took me an hour, almost exactly, so I am going to call it there. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>